Hey there. Uh, long time no see. So uh, it's been a while since we've done a Friday Night Flights video. And to be honest, I didn't expect to be doing one today. But fate brought me up above Conifer to Bailey, Colorado. And I just had to stop in at Aspen Peak Cellars Winery and Bistro here in Bailey. Um, good. I've had some of their wines before at festivals. I've never been to the winery until today. Beautiful place right along the North Fork of the South Platte River. Uh, they've got something amazing here that I think you need to come up and see. They've actually got a beach or several small beaches with fine sand. This sand is all made from crushed wine bottles. Uh, they have a, they, they were able to purchase some contraption that pulverizes a wine bottle in a matter of seconds down to a very fine sand. Uh, I will post a couple pictures of that, of the sand, um, the beach area in the comments to this video. But we're not here for that, we're here to drink a little bit of wine, right? So I've got two wines that I'm tasting today. The first, uh, and these are what I'm calling Memorial Day wines. I've got the kids screaming behind me, that's awesome. Um, more Memorial Day wines for your cookouts, your barbecues, your getting together with friends and family this weekend. First, we've got a 2020 Dry Rosé. Really nice on the palate. Uh, strawberry and what I would say like the not quite ripe watermelon or like the, the white part of, of watermelon, more the just in off the rind. So it's a little sunny here, so I'm going, going blind doing the video, but that's all right. It's the price I pay. Really nice dry rosé. Uh, to tell you the truth, I like a super bone dry rosé. I could like this if it, more if it was just a touch drier, but uh, for most people's palates that are into rosé, I think this would be perfect. Um, a lot of strawberry in there, some white pepper. Really nice, crisp, light wine to enjoy on the patio on a beautiful Colorado summer day or Memorial Day weekend. Really nice. Again, that is the 2020 Dry Rosé from Aspen Peak Cellars. Moving on, we're going to go to, if I can find my tasting notes that I made a little bit ago, we're going to go on to a uh, 2019 Colorado Cabernet Franc. The color gets me on this. It's a, it's a touch light color-wise for a Cab Franc, but it's a beautiful, uh, let's say a bright garnet color. Uh, really nice on the nose. It's got all the characteristics of Cap Franc. It's vegetal. It's got some cedar. You can smell the oak in there. A little bit of a hint of cherries, I'd say, um, on the nose. Uh, like really ripe cherries. Mmm. Undeniably Cap Franc. That's got big green pepper not not overwhelming green pepper but a big green vegetal taste in uh, the front of the palate going through mid palate backed up by some really strong uh, bold tannins and some spice I'd say uh, not really like a baking spice more like a roasting spices in there You know, I've really grown to love a Colorado Cab Franc. It's a, in my mind, I think it's becoming uh, one of the signature grapes of Colorado, and this is a beautiful representation of it. 2019 Cab Franc Colorado from Aspen Peak Cellars. That's going to go terrific with a steak, with pork chops, with burgers, with whatever you're doing this weekend for Memorial Day. Hope you're getting out there. Whether you're celebrating or not, keep in mind what Memorial Day is all about. And let's remember all of those who have fought for this country, who have died for this country, and who continue to serve in the armed forces to protect us all and you know, give us the liberties that we have. So, until next time, hope everyone is doing great. Oh, let me give you a quick shot behind me. I've got a uh, party of teachers celebrating the 
end of the school year. You can kind of see the winery in the back. Um, if I turn the camera around, there's the beautiful South Platte River. It's a gorgeous setting. I encourage you to come out. Aspen Peak Cellars in Bailey, Colorado. Great wines, and I will talk to you soon. Cheers.